What's good, YouTube? It's your boy LV Skinny, and today, my fucking Lil Pump and Smoke Perk, they got beef with Ian Connor. Um, Ian Connor, that's the nigga that be with ASAP Rocky and them. His Twitter and shit is all I know. It'd be like Ian Connor's revenge, something like that. But yeah, I see that they got beef, so I gotta check see what's up. too early for all of this drama, all right? But yeah. apparently Little Pump and Smoke Perp got called out by Ian Connor, and he's saying, look, man, Playboy Cardi don't even rock with y'all, and y'all just some swagger jacking little boys, okay? Now, listen here. Right. When I tell y'all this is all over a butterfly, I'm dead <laughs> serious. It's all over a butterfly, but let me break things down. Basically, yeah. Smoke Perp... Oh, Lord, uh, yeah. I can see the little butterfly butterfly necklace right there. They said need to take the... Yeah, and that is crazy. It really is beefing over, like, a butterfly symbol type shit of all things y'all done social media with little pump him and little pump had like a video going on now smoke perp had like a little butterfly chain around his neck and that made ian connor go crazy bro he was like you need to take that shit off you not one of us playboy cardi don't rock with these swagger jacking little boys with the s okay Dang. which means he was also talking about little pump who like i said was also in the video all right now i know what a lot of y'all thinking he getting mad over a butterfly chain what that mean nobody can wear butterfly chains well, it's, listen, it's, it's okay, a it's it about the 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 principle of that being they shit and then some dude niggas coming up trying to wear they shit type shit. I understand it. But it's just, it's sad that it got to be over the, the butterfly of all things. I don't know. Represents to Playboy Cardi and to like their squad. If you guys don't know, there's kind of a squad going on. You know, it's the ASAP mob, Playboy Cardi, Ian Connor, and little Uzi Vert is like that adopted member. He's considered his family over there. These dudes, they rock around with like butterfly chains. Sometimes they rock it, sometimes they don't rock it, but it holds special meanings to them and it's kind of like a squad symbol, all right? The butterfly is kind of like the squad symbol, I guess, okay? Now, from Ian Connor's perspective, He's looking at these boys, right, and he's watching this one video. I mean, in this one video, you see Smoke Perp dyeing his hair purple, okay, right after Little Uzi Vert done did it. Got the nose ring that Little Uzi Vert got. Then you rapping Little Uzi Vert's lyrics all in the same video. All that is true. I can see where, um, yeah, and I'm talking about, like, the swagger jacket shit. Because I do feel like Smoke Perp, Smoke Perp mainly here, like, he doesn't really necessarily steal the style. He'll, he'll copy it and and do it in his own way kind of try to do it in his own way i'm not even a fan of smoke purse mu music but I, I fuck with them niggas just because they some some young niggas on the rise and pump uh i fuck with pump too that one song uh i forgot what that shit called but that shit going crazy that shit just came out a couple days ago in the same video but so yeah, i Get off of my homies this. And then they see you with a butterfly chain that looks like the exact one that Cardi started off for the squad, bro. That's when you done pushed them over the edge. No pun intended, okay? Uh, so from that point, it just <laughs> looks like from Ian Connor's perspective that these boys just keep jocking people in my squad. So of course you start to go off on social media. Yeah, Not I feel her. It. He responded by saying, man, it's just a pendant from If and Coke. You guys don't know. That's a jewelry spot, all right? So he's saying, stop being hurt, my guy. Okay, now my thing is this. Ian Connor is not just talking about the pendant. He's talking about the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's talking about the whole, that was the thing whole that aura. At the very end. But there's a lot of things that go on. And there's been a lot of behind-the-scenes talk that they don't really like that shit, bro. And we've seen Playboy Cardi even be outspoken when it comes to certain individuals trying to copy or imitate. Yeah, okay, Cardi, he it, that, he'll be like, one that on, shit. You gotta have said at Tory Lanez when the man tried to remix his song, alright? So you gotta understand that he doesn't like when people try to take some things that come from his squad or from himself, okay? So, I mean, look, if you ask me, we already know rappers, they take their chains very seriously, all right? And those chains do sometimes represent their it squad. They symbolize them. Know that Big Sean's the only one rocking lion heads, right? People that are affiliated rock with them, too. As well as Rollo. Rollo's the only one that rocks dog bones. You know, rappers, they take from inanimate objects. They use animals. They use insects, right? So when another rap group and starting to cop chains that are exactly like theirs. They're just kind of looking over like, nah, you not a part of our squad. This is just for our for squad. Real. You get a different animal to take. <laughs> that shit, like a, like a little pride thing. Like, if I'm putting my damn, my team on and I'm giving y'all this shit, we, we all looking together. We all unified together. 
And then we got this off brand nigga over here, like rocking our shit too. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but damn. Or a different shit insect crazy. to take from, or a different inanimate object to use to represent your squad and their chain, okay? Sometimes they use letters like P R E. You know, those are the letters that Young Dolph and his squad use, and other people, they just use symbols, animals, insects, and animate objects, alright? So if you ask me my honest opinion, as people that are in the rap game, because Smoke Herb, Little Pump, y'all are now entering the rap game. If y'all not a part of Playboy Cardi, Ian Connor, For real, you gotta know what you got with. ASAP Mob Squad that they got going on, then I would have recommended you guys avoiding the butterfly altogether. But if you was that serious about getting the butterfly, then at least get a different butterfly. Not the exact same butterfly that they done got, all right? You done made it obvious and everything. But you guys let me know what you think about this. And y'all got to keep in mind, I mean, Little Pump and Smoke Perp, they're young dudes. And they're obviously fans of these individuals. You know, the Little Uzi yeah. Birds, the Playboy Cardis, right? But one thing they got to realize is now that they're in the rap game, okay, they got to kind of understand that these dudes are their peers. And they don't really be looked at as individuals that is copied. Like these niggas, they, they big now. Like before... They been like I was thinking of them on the rise, but nah, uh, they've been in the news, not in the news, but in tabloids and all that shit. Like people know who the fuck little pump is, smoke perp is. So now that they big, that's what they need to come with their own original idea, original necklace type shit. Cause they got the influence. They come with their own original shit. They can have hella little kids, like with little pump chains or smoke perp chains and the uh, and zoomies and shit like. So many little kids would rap this shit. They need to get into that for real, for real. Being another person, or what other people would call swagger, jacket, dick riding, whatever the case may be. So just try to distinguish the difference. But like I said, they're very young dudes. They've been fans. I mean, we've seen them knowing their songs word for word, all right? Old videos done popped up on social media. We know they're most likely influenced by these individuals. But I would say to them, look, you guys, you don't want to do too much because that's when social media start calling stuff out and then trying to make you guys look like that y'all don't have your own individual way. But you guys, once again, let me know what you think about this. Yeah. Thank you guys for all the loyal support. Everyone that liked the video got the notification button pressed. Shout out to the squad gang. Yeah, shout out to uh, Forward Hype for that video. But I'm about to check out this video because what's the name? Um, Lil Pump. He he was just going off on Ian Connor like this video just came out of Lil Pump on Instagram Live so we we about to take this one out. Hold on. I think that's uh the conversation between Ian Connor and uh XXX Temptation I think. Say thank you family. Hey, low key almost got off on a jet or all back about swagger jack and you ain't even in the wrong. Yeah, yeah, he talking about uh, the blue is uh, in. So he's saying, like, the butterfly, that's our personal shit. And then, what's the name? He, basically, X said, I fuck with Pump, though. I don't really fuck with Smoke Perk, because he be trying to sound like niggas. Basically, trying to say he sound, he was trying to sound like him in uh, the little Uzi jank, how he did little Uzi song. He said, Flacco gave this to Cardi, Cardi, and Cardi made it out gang shit. So, basically, he don't want other niggas in their gang shit. I understand. Hmm. Hold up, guys. I got something to say today. Yeah. I got something to say today. This nigga hype to say that shit. Cause I heard someone talking shit, talking shit. Cause I heard someone talking shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You a bitch, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I heard someone was talking shit. Some rapist called Ian Connor. Dang. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Ian Connor, first of all, you a fucking rapist, nigga. You broke as fuck. Nigga, Second you, you, you swagger jacket, nigga. Wait, your shoes look like Vans, bitch ass nigga. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Second of all, Nigga, I'm only 16, bitch, and I'm doing my own shit. I'm out here getting money, nigga. You broke as fuck, bitch. Bitch, you broke as fuck. On me, nigga. On me, nigga. I know that nigga Lil Pump is getting money. Nigga, fuck you talking about. I'll slap the fuck out of Ian Connor. Ian Connor, you a bitch, nigga. You don't run that shit on me, pussy. I'll slap the fuck out your ass. I'm from Florida, nigga. Rip a nigga shit. You a bitch, nigga. You a pussy yeah. and you a rapist. I want everybody going in Connor shit right now and call that nigga a rapist. Damn. That nigga ain't no shit. You a pussy. Everybody, everybody this nigga had like 9,000 right views at the moment. And say Lil, Lil Pump and Lil Perk are the goats. 
Hey, nigga. Hey, I ain't got nothing else to say. Ian Carter, you a fucking rapist. You and you a bitch. Bands, nigga. See, like, look hey, at all they comments. Hey, hey, they got so many people. Lil Pump, I got you. Ian, you a rapist. That's got at Like, they need to create their little, they own chains. Something. Even the little sterling silver chains, just so motherfucking they can put it in Zoomies, Vans, whatever. They got so many young fans. They need to get their own, like, chains type shit. For real. Wanna thump it out? We in LA too, bitch. I slap the oh, fuck out you. Wanna thump it out? We in LA too, bitch. Let me know, nigga. Yo ass, yo ass don't want no smoke. You a rapist? You a faggot? You ain't got no money and you broke, nigga. So what's up, nigga? Let this what's up, nigga? Ass. What's up, nigga? Ass, nigga? You don't want no fucking fuck smoke, ass, nigga. nigga. I swear to God, I'll slap pussy the fuck ass, out Ian Connor. Wait till fuck I see you, bitch ass, nigga. Backhand slap your dumb ass. Hey, yo, Ian Connor, you a bitch and you broke, nigga. He said, yo, Ian Connor, you a bitch and you broke, nigga. Damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I've been, I've never really seen anything of Ian Connor. Like I know he's affiliated with everyone, but I ain't never like I'm, I'm not sure what he does. I think he's a fashion designer. But yeah, Lil Pump and Smoke Perk, they the young niggas on the rise right now. Like, oh yeah, that that song I was talking about of Lil Pump, that shit called Molly. So yeah, y'all gotta check that shit out. That shit hype. But yeah, man, what y'all think about this shit? Let me know that in the comment section, man. Till next time, YouTube. I'm out. Minute, man, I'm in your bitch, and then I'm out. Gone. All I need is five minutes in or out her mouth. If she talking crazy, nigga, I just kick her out. This a one where I'm bout, bet I knock her pussy out.